up guys welcome to tip Tuesday this is your man art fart um, so I'm gonna teach you guys today or show you not necessarily teach you I'm gonna show you guys how I tie my Carolina rigs what knots I use and how to tie those knots um, just want to take a second real quick just to say thank you for checking out this video because you can pretty much Google or look up on YouTube wherever to see how to tie a Carolina rig, but you chose to hang around and check out Tip Tuesday here with the One Ton Fishing Club. So thank you. Um, if you guys aren't already subscribed, check it out down below. Uh, when you click subscribe, there's a little bell next to it. Make sure you click that too, that way you get notified anytime we post any content. So you'll be the first ones to see One Ton Fishing Club's Tip Tuesday. All right, I'm gonna put you back in my holder here and let you see it from my point of view all right guys so first thing you're gonna need is a hook I use octopus circle hooks this one actually might be an offset circle hook of whatever kind you want um, I got my leader line which is below my swivel all right we got the barrel swivel here we have a bead. I don't know if you guys can see that real good. And then we have a no roll sinker, which we made ourselves, me and Josh. And there's going to be a video coming up soon. So the first thing I do, I take my leader line. Oh, of course, something important is something to cut your line. So I take my leader line and I guesstimate. I don't know, about a foot and a half because you're going to need to trim some off for the tag end and for the knot. So, go ahead and cut that. Now, what I do for my knots is a no snell, uh, snell knot, a knotless snell knot. So, you have your hook, it's oriented to where you're putting your line in through right over your barb because that's going to help once it's snelled it's going to be like a trigger action so i go about down that went that far down the shaft and i'll wrap it eight times one two three four five six seven eight get a little bit of spit on it just to help with friction now you come back in from behind the hook or behind the eye and you draw it tight. And I make sure I snug it pretty tight. Now this is 80 pound slime line, clear like leader line. So that's done. So my other knot that I tie is a polymer knot. So this is about how much I want coming off my swivel. So I stick one end in because this stuff's kind of thick and go back through the eye of the swivel making a loop and just a regular overhand knot in through where I crossed it over and you see how I got the knot here now this comes down and around let me show you that one more time down and around the swivel and it's basically gonna you want to get that loop up there so it can cinch down now I usually put a little bit of saliva on it to help with friction so it doesn't heat the line up. Sorry about the gross spit. And that's done. Trim my tag. About like a lot. Now get my, my main line, which is kind of a mess because I just broke off. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna trim off that stuff that rubbed. So you wanna put your sinker on first. Drop it down. Bead on next, cause this bead protects the this next knot that you're gonna do. And I do another polymer knot here at the swivel. So that bead's gonna protect it as that weight bounces off of it. Um, depending if you're in current or when you're reeling it in, even when you're fighting a fish. 
So I like pulling it through. Everybody makes a loop and tries to fit the loop through the eyelet of the swivel, but I don't. So I'll take it this time and I make a bigger loop. Hope you guys can see that. I make a bigger loop because you got to fit the hook and everything else through it. the loop now I bring my hoop through it just the same exact principle as before with the swivel you want to get that loop up top here a little bit of saliva there we go and that helps with that line see how that kind of got kinky right there a little frazzled looking but that should be okay for where we're at. So now you could just trim it. Here we tag off. And you're good. So two polymers, no snail on my hook. You can see a trigger action right there. Now some people trim their tag ends. I don't. I've never had, well, I can't say I never had it interfere with hooking up, but. I don't know, but I keep it back there. So the more that the fish pulls on this knot, the tighter it gets and the stronger it is. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's how I do my rigs. This is my Carolina rig. It's how I set it up. That's the end of the video uh, for my Tip Tuesday from Art here. Thanks for watching. Share the video and uh, tune in for our next video. So guys, if you don't know how to subscribe or don't have a have a Gmail account or Google account or YouTube account, go make one. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to our channel. Just uh, subscribing really shows that you guys want to see what's going on with the One Time Fishing Club. Well, I believe Kyle's walking down. So thanks. We love you. And stay tuned for more cool stuff.